Hello everyone, this I'm back with another video. I'll be pumping out today. I have one more video to go after this and then I'm done. And then it's another five to, to do. I want to clear out all the graphics um, things I've done so far. And you're going to be listening to it. So if you have not seen my previous videos, what are you waiting for? Because you will not understand what's going on if you're on this video. So basically... Um, we're going to be sh trying to get a cube, a tetrahedron, and an octahedron to show up on the same canvas at the same time. So, um, again, like I said, set your axes, your X axis, your Y axis, your Z axis, and that's how you start. And then you have to create um, a transmit and a transmit log. Um, it's like the um, ray of angles. Um, and then you have to create the cube, tetra, and the octo off, I forgot what I shortened it for, um, and then C buffer and the V buffer, and then the total cube points, the total tetra points, and the total octahedron points. And then on the canvas, um, you want to load the shaders, you want to have, um, right here where it says color cube, you want to initialize the vertices, um, because my thing is very detailed, um, even, and just in case I forget, and then and then the transmat is the the tra um, translation of matrices. So you want to make sure that you have all the matrices in there, um, so that um, it's able to translate on the screen. So you have to translate mat cube, translate mat tetrahedron, and translate uh, mat octo. Um, and then what else? And then you. Don't forget to add your buffers. You want to make sure that the transmat is before you put the buffers, um, the vertex array, and all the stuff had to be um, after that. And then after that, you have to make sure that these do not go before the buffers because it won't work. Trust me. Um, these are your event listeners. Um, um, you get the X and Y and Z buttons. It's so... On my code, they're going to be rotating on certain points. So they're either going to be rotating on the X, Y, or Z axis. And on the bottom, you want to put the transmat lock um, 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 so that it, your transmat should be able to work. And then, um, like I said in my previous code, you want to be defining the cube and also and other all the shapes. There's nothing really that changed, but you have to make sure that this is in your code if you want it to um, to work. Um, what else? What else? I, and then on the renderer code, um, you um, the theta access um, plus two. Um, it's basically showing um, where the shapes will be on the access. Um, basically in my thing, I have, is so that I, um, I ha I make sure that I label it, always label your code because it makes everything much more easier. So you want to render the cube and this is the code that when you want to render the cube, um, th there's also different ways. Don't always choose my way. Try to figure out different ways that you can also do it and then all the other ways and then we're going to go to html code and you don't really have to um like in my previous code you don't have to change anything um it's basically the same code i didn't really change anything in my html code the only thing that got updated was the javascript and then then um okay so here we are we are seeing all three shapes we have our cube our tet tetrahedron and our octahedron <laughs> sorry uh, but it's right on my screen and then here we are so we hit rotate x they're still going to stay the same so they're not going to change but if we hit rotate y they're all going to rotate on their y axis at the same time you want to make sure that it rotates all at the same time be sure to
Okay, and you want to make sure it shows up at the same time when you do your code. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. My thing cuts off at, after five minutes. Um, also, and then when you hit the Y, the Z axis is all going to rotate at the same time on the Z axis. So basically, this is how you make all three shapes uh, show up on the screen. And you can really test any shape you want to basically as long as your computer is able to render it um and basically you can start from here and basically build up like i recommend i forgot how i um but there's a, a lot of online resources if you want to be able to start this is just a starting point and i'm just showcasing what i've worked on so that it can better everybody but be sure to check out my other videos and be sure to subscribe and follow my playlist for all my gaming portfolio stuff this is my graphic stuff but basically graphics and all that stuff falls under software engineering but you want want to be able to do all of this stuff so don't just limit yourself